the key is, is to breaking down those, that skepticism about uh, these types of products was to get it on the farm, demonstrating with a farmer, is this product in your program going to do something at least as good or better than what your chemical only program is? And there's a lot of gatekeepers who prevented us from getting on that farm. There's distributors who have pest control advisors who, no, you, you don't wanna, we, we don't want to get you on the farm. This stuff is snake oil. And there's also university, which really surprised me, was university researchers, the land-grant institutions, who said, stand up at, at grower meetings and say, these, things, these products don't work. All the efforts that we went in trying to build the, the, uh, the, good, uh, the good data and so forth, would be ruined in one grower meeting. So I'll talk a little bit about how we overcame those barriers um, with those academics in a minute. But um, key was getting it on the farm and demonstrating, and it's true of any business, de demo was really critical. It's now approved in many countries around the world, and that's adding a lot of countries. So we sell, we're the manufacturer. We sell to a distributor, a, a United Agri-Products or a in Ten Co's group, and they sell to the grower, but these gatekeepers were trying to keep us from getting to the grower. This was a really tough problem. It was also a really tough problem, it was a really difficult uh, problem for our salespeople. The salespeople I hired, these, these uh, distributors, they like people who've been in the business for 20, 30 years that they know. They're not gonna, they're not gonna sell a company's product that they, it's just brand new, they don't know anybody. So we had to hire people from the Syngentas, BASFs of the world and so forth. And it turns out that those, a lot of those people are used to taking one or a half a percent market share away from each other every year. They didn't know how to take a product, substitute our product for a chemical. It's a very different sale. And it required the salesperson to be a lot more aggressive. And uh, one of my distributors here said, you need to hire hungry dogs. Those are people who, can, who can make that sale and wrench that product, that chemical product, out of the grower's hands and put your product in there. And that was a really, really tough sell. So at one point, I actually um, replaced the entire sales team and hired a new one. And we figured out that the key component in hiring these types of people was if they had an entrepreneurial experience in their past, they started up a company, or they had a family member, a close family member, it could be a you know, a parent or aunt or uncle or something that had a family business, was an entrepreneur, took some risk. So I could then now, in the interviewing process, find those salespeople who were going to be able to make that sale uh, when uh, the other ones couldn't do it. And that was really key. Uh, 